story tonight at 6. Even if you have a license to use medical marijuana, your company can legally fire you if you fail a drug test. That's the decision out today from the Colorado Court of Appeals. We asked our Everard Casme to look into this ruling force and its impact on all workers. He joins us now live at Dish Network, which is the company involved in this case. And Everard, the company has a strict anti-drug policy and fired an employee for testing positive for marijuana. Yeah, and according to this letter from Dish, despite knowing the company drug policy, that employee said that he would continue to use medical marijuana, later taking legal action after his termination. Well, today, the Court of Appeals sided with Dish Network. We hope that the Court of Appeals will apply state law as they should without the pressures of the federal law. Back in November, attorney Mike Evans had high hopes, but the Colorado Court of Appeals decided otherwise. There is no employment protection for people who use marijuana. The ruling is against his client and marijuana user, Brandon Coates, who was fired from his Dish Network job after testing positive for THC. And he said, Mike, is there anything that we can do? I had to be honest, I said, I don't know. Coates, a quadriplegic, claims that medical marijuana is the only thing that helps his muscle spasms, even though it violates Dish's company policy and federal law. The issue is, can private employers say, here are the rules, and if you violate this, these rules, regardless of whether it's legal or not legal, if you violate the rules of your employment, we have a right to say, can't work here anymore. And in a statement, Dish did just that, telling Coates Dish is committed to its drug-free workplace policy and compliance with federal law, which does not permit the use of marijuana even for medicinal purposes. Companies have the right to set their policies, set conditions of employment, as long as their, their employees are aware that this is what can get you fired. And Evans tells us that he plans to take this case to the Supreme Court. Our legal analyst says that's if the Supreme Court will take this case. Reporting live at Dish Network's headquarters in Littleton, Everett Casimir, CBS 4 News.